I would never, really never have expected something like this. Good morning guys, I'm in Szczecin, the seventh largest city in Poland. Now it's 10 a.m. and we are searching for a bakery to eat our first traditional breakfast here in Poland. Okay guys, we found our typical bakery here in Szczecin. We had breakfast with traditional pastries. Actually, I don't know how to pronounce the names. And we spent like seven euros, so it's completely cheap. We visited the old town as well because it's near our hotel that is called Campanile. The old town is pretty small. When you search for the photos online on Google, it seems like a big square with many houses, but actually it's very, very small and it takes like three minutes by foot to visit it. And there are many restaurants, shops, bars. So if you need something to eat, it's the perfect place. We are headed to the Pomerania Duke's Castle. So off we go. Okay guys, we explored the castle and it's really worth it. There are many things to visit. The best part for me is the clock that was produced between 1635, 1640, something like that. During the Second World War, this city was completely destroyed. And unlike other cities in Poland, like for example, Warsaw or Krakow, and believe me, they are stunning, this city was not uh, revealed immediately. The reconstruction works only started in 1994 and they are still ongoing. That's why the old town, which was completely leveled during the war, is now really small and you can see also people still working there in all over the city. Now we are searching for something else to visit in the same area. This is the Royal Gate and was built in the 18th century. Now we are headed near the river Oder and there are many attractions. There is the embankment, so we're gonna visit the area as well. And I wanna say something important because I lived in a Eastern European city with my girlfriend in Romania, Timișoara. I really miss this Eastern European vibe. All these buildings, everything has something unique. So it's a very underrated city. It offers many, many things. The prices are cheap, so you should come if you are near Germany or maybe other uh, Eastern European countries. This is the Chorbury embankment, and it's an observation that you can admire the river and also the other areas of the city. There is the Shejin Boulevard in front of us on the other side of the river. So we're gonna go there by foot in like 20 minutes. We arrived at the boulevard. There are many restaurants, traditional bars. The boat trip costs from 10 sloty to 20 sloty for 25 minutes. So we're gonna continue to explore this area because there are other things to see over there. By the way, the sun came up. It's pretty hot. Fortunately, in this area, there are many boat bars, boat restaurants something pretty unique because you are on the river and you can have dinner or lunch here like this behind me there is also a planetarium with scientific exhibitions there are tickets that you can buy there is this park here this amusement park actually i'm scared of these rides later maybe i will be ready it's 1 23 and but we are hungry there is also a market that sells only tools for animals, leashes, food for your dogs. We are witnessing something unexpected. It's an unexpected journey, really. Walking here, there was the food market, the seafood market I was talking about before, and we discovered that are giving samples of food for free. So we try dumplings with fish and lemon. There are many, many things, everything for free. So maybe we're gonna take advantage of this. I would never expect that in a little town like this. We are trying different types of herring fish. I don't know actually what's the difference, but I know that are really, really, tasty and there is also a little piece of bread wow now we are trying the tomato and fish soup and guys that's incredible yeah they're delicious very tasty i yeah. didn't expect that from a soup man for free mm -hmm. to finish our free lunch here we are eating a sandwich with a hairy fish mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I would never, really never have expected something like this. There was free food and also I won a gadget. I won free Spencer for traveling. There were bags, also pencils. There are also singers, actors. They are cooking many things. This has been the most successful way to try traditional food. Because it was for free and it was really unexpected. Really happy to be here and hopefully tonight we can continue like this. Now we're going back to the hotel because we have the check-in. We had the check-in one hour ago. We are searching for a traditional restaurant for tonight. There are two main areas for restaurants, bars. The first one is at the old town, like I said before. And the second one is Depta Boguslawa. I'm sorry for the pronunciation, for the bad pronunciation. And now we are headed there. It's only 20 minutes by foot. Walking in this area, we found the oldest cinema in the world. The Pioneer opened on the 26th of September, 1906. It's incredible, guys. This city is continuously showing us incredible things unexpected things actually we stopped by a random bakery in the city center we ordered two pieces of cake one with apple it's incredibly good and one with sure. fresh fruits chocolate we spent only four euros for both and they are very very big pieces We found the best review restaurant here for tonight that sells pierogi, the dumplings with meat and so on. The problem is that it's fully booked for tonight. Hopefully we can find a table to eat tonight because it will be really packed. Okay guys, quick update. We are at the hotel. Finally, we had a weighted pierogi, Polish pierogi. And then we also ordered an unexpected, very good plate of Polish cheese with cranberry sauce. And it's like a mix that you don't expect to be so good, but actually the flavor of the cheese was amazing and yeah, also true, the sauce. True was great yeah. and we paid only 20 euros so it's euros. very very cheap after that we went near the river where the amusement park was this morning there were a lot of people gathering in that area there was music everyone was drinking and now it's time to go to bed see you tomorrow guys good night good morning everyone guys we are here in Chechnya again this is our last day in this city first thing first in the morning we're gonna have breakfast at our beloved bakery like always we're gonna try traditional pastries we had breakfast at the bakery where we were yesterday the cappuccino was very big it was like a dispenser and the price was high pretty high for being in Poland the cappuccino was 3 euro and 50 now we are headed to the rose garden it's a 20 minute walk okay guys we are almost Almost at the Rose Garden. Before the Rose Garden, there is a park with a big grass field. There was a marathon this morning here in the city, and there is also an event going on now. We went to the Rose Garden, and there were 8,000 rose bushes. It was a great spot because there was also a concert with folkloristic music. The park and all the area in general was really worth it to visit. Now we're going back to the center, and we're going at the same restaurant where we ate yesterday night and we're gonna eat pierogies by the way behind me you can see the Chechen city hall it's pretty pretty great there is a fountain there are flowers also everything is green we just ate at the best restaurant here this time we were happier than yesterday night because the food was amazing really we ordered pierogi. the first one was with the white cheese and potatoes and the other one was with they were fried the fried ones were with mushrooms and mushroom sauce probably one of the best dishes I've eaten during trips. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing that I have to mention now is that the price was very cheap. We paid like 22 euros okay. for everything and the water was 2 euros per bottle. Nevertheless, yeah. it was really cheap. Now we are headed to the central cemetery. That is the third largest cemetery in Europe and the first largest cemetery in Poland. We saw only the main entrance. I didn't record anything to pay respect to the people here. Now we are waiting for a taxi to go from the cemetery to the embankment that we saw yesterday we're gonna find something for a snack something like that because in three hours we leave okay guys our time here in Chechny has ended unfortunately in one hour we're gonna take the bus for Berlin 
it has been a great journey, unexpected journey, and I think that Chechny is underrated. And maybe if you can come here for one day or two days, you can explore the city and see many, many great things. Now we're going back to the hotel. We're going to take the suitcase and go to the station bus station. If you liked this video, leave a like down below, like always, and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this. Goodbye.